every company needs to be innovating in order to drive growth, competitive advantage, but also resilience. And the Haaglander Medical Center in the Netherlands is setting the standards in innovation as the first Dutch hospital to use public cloud for enterprise resource planning. But the medical center made this strategic decision in order to more quickly adjust their processes and the business models to the ongoing changes in both the healthcare, but also, of course, in our society right now. By migrating critical business processes to cloud ERP, such as financial administration or supply chain management and purchasing management, Haaglander Medical Center is able to benefit from cost efficiencies, but also improve forecasting capabilities and position their organization for further innovation. I'm Ronald Van Loon. And I'm the CEO of The Intelligent World. And I'm here today with Greg Pavlik, Senior Vice President Data and AI at Oracle. Greg, welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me. We're going to discuss the impact of a cloud environment on healthcare organizations and their ability to ultimately prioritize patient care delivery. So Greg, can you describe the role that cloud infrastructure is playing in industries like healthcare? Yeah, I, I well, first of all, the healthcare area has been a special focus for Oracle. We have a dedicated business unit that focuses specifically on healthcare, handles uh, applications and SaaS en environments for everything from payers, providers to researchers. And in fact, on the research side, um, we've been investing quite a bit on um, COVID research. And in the US, we had actually enabled a uh, tracking application for vaccinations and cases. Um, that's becoming a part of our, our overall cloud offering. We have within the cloud context, a lot of uptake from healthcare for two reasons. Uh, first of all, OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is what we call a gen two cloud. And it's built differently than generation one clouds. It's built to be more secure, which is particularly important for healthcare and healthcare record management. It's also built uh, to be more efficient so from a cost efficiency perspective, it's also appealing for healthcare. We've seen this uptake from healthcare providers and healthcare payers to, uh, to in significant ways. One of the organizations we've been working with recently has been the Tony Blair Institute for Global Change. One of the projects we've enabled with them is a vaccination program tracking and management, which is being rolled out in three African countries in Rwanda, Ghana, and Sierra Leone. The focus of the program is to get vaccinations done at scale. Um, we're using the cloud infrastructure. We're using our secure cloud database environment to enable the vaccination programs. They're focused initially on yellow fever and extending to the COVID vaccine. In that context, we're looking to get up to 5.8 million individuals vaccinated in the coming year. So it's pretty exciting to see this kind of high impact uh, healthcare type use case come to fruition, especially in developing countries uh, where where there's a, a real need for focus on vaccination programs. Um, similarly, in the U.S., we've been working with uh, Northwell Hospitals. They've adopted Oracle Analytics Cloud. They're using it to get greater efficiencies in terms of their staffing and their planning around the surges associated with the COVID um, uptake or the COVID virus. That's been another project that's seen quite a bit of success and a great example of how healthcare and the cloud are intersecting and really giving important advantages in a time of need. So there's a really a, kind of a satisfying element to this overall. Companies across industries, they're using data as a driver for innovation, which enables them to improve a multitude of, of processes, but also all different kinds of applications. And data is being used in healthcare to advance diagnostic capabilities, for example, but also streamline communication and workflow from staff, from nurses, from doctors to improve uh, resource allocation and also, of course, enhance drug discovery. So the healthcare industry often has an abundance of siloed data sources from patient data, applications, and HR, but also insurance companies. And this makes it very difficult for healthcare practitioners to access the data that they need and use for informed decision-making or for preventative care or for streamlined collaboration across physicians, administration and their patients. And essentially, 
data management becomes necessary to treat patients quickly, but also to treat them effectively. So healthcare institutions, they are beginning to see the value of centralized data management systems that help them to maintain patient and clinical data to foster customer engagement, but also improve patient outcomes and to streamline administrative workflows. Craig, what are the real practical advantages and the value if we talk about a multi-cloud type of strategy? Well, multi-cloud strategies are becoming increasingly common as well. Uh, what we're seeing is a focus on running the workloads in a vendor cloud or in a hyperscale cloud that's optimized for the particular problem space. Um, data is a great example coming from Oracle. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure really was built as a cloud to be uh, data first. So part of the focus there has been on security and making sure that we have secure data as a, as a fundamental principle in the overall architecture. That extends um, from the cloud infrastructure itself through the database solutions. And it's automated in a way that we use machine learning algorithms, for example, to auto detect problems and to auto resolve the problems before they become an issue for the healthcare provider. So that's one aspect of the technical investment that we've made that I think is very exciting for healthcare providers. Um, specific to the Netherlands, uh, we have a local regional data center for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure which allows us to address also data sovereignty. So the ability now to bring your data together in a secure environment, but that's also uh, protected with respect to regulations from the governing political entity is particularly important as well. So there are several um, strong reasons that we see this movement to the cloud for data. Now, in some cases, you mentioned multi-cloud, um, customers are working across multiple vendors for a single solution. So Oracle has partnered with Microsoft Azure and has actually built um, fast interconnects between our data centers and the data centers for Azure. So if you have workloads that have to work together in both uh, cloud environments, you're able to use them in a very fast and efficient manner. We've also done work to enhance security between the clouds so that there's identity federation across both cloud environments. So if you were doing an application in Azure and you needed to access data in Oracle, you can do that and you can do it using a common security paradigm. So those are important innovations to making multi-cloud work, especially for domains like healthcare. Um, we have, as you mentioned, Hagland and Medical Center as a uh, important customer in the Netherlands that's adopted our Oracle ERP cloud um, that's all about optimizing their business processes and doing a better job at driving efficiencies. And it's an important investment uh, that is centered around the cloud and centered on the data sets that we're managing within the ERP cloud. So this idea of using the cloud as a platform for healthcare, understanding that the cloud is secure and can meet your needs, at the same time, able to allow it to federate with other cloud providers is central to the kind of evolution we're seeing in the industry and important in particular for healthcare providers. And the example that you gave, the Haagland Medical Center, streamlining healthcare management helps everyone from the patients, uh, but also the administrative staff to the doctors and also the nurses. And implementing the right technologies such as cloud can help you to facilitate the transformation and guide innovation across the whole healthcare industry. Craig, thanks a lot for sharing your great healthcare stories and for the audience. Thank you for watching and we're looking forward to seeing you next time.